Hello, this is a bite-sized presentation on object server logging. The object server logs three types of logs by default. Internal logging, profiler logging, trigger statistics logging. By default, the debug logs are 60% repeating internal logging. The NDE debug facility allows the volume of log messages to be reduced to specific components within the object server. The environment setting can be set to the minimal setting NCO underscore OBJ serve auto within the installation users environment or in the NCO underscore OBJ serve dot M file. Once enabled, the object server's debug log is reduced to just object server and trigger debug messages. You can use Unix grep to either search for specific login message types or to remove unwanted log messages, such as clock when reviewing the log files. The profiler login needs to be enabled as it is disabled by default. It is best practice to have profiler login enabled. You need to enable the profiler triggers as well as the profile property for the profiling data to be logged. Once enabled, the details of clients connected to the object server are logged, both as individual connections and grouped by type. The overall profiler usage is logged as a total per IDUC period, which is 60 seconds by default. The profiler timings are based on a single CPU. Therefore, multiple CPU systems may show what appears to be excessive profiler reports. However, the profiler usage detail should be reviewed with normal usage in mind. The trigger statistics login is not enabled by default. It is best practice to enable the trigger statistics login by enabling the stats underscore trigger group. The trigger log shows each trigger's usage ordered by the trigger group, as recorded within the IDUC period. The total time used by all of the triggers is given as a summary line. This makes it easier to spot unusual usage. The object server gateways have a number of properties to control logging behavior. Log files are only one megabyte by default, and named according to the gateway's given name. Only the mapping debug login is enabled by default. You can enable debug login for open clients, reader and writer, SQL login. You can use the unique log property to capture logs where the gateway exits suddenly and is being restarted by process control. Under normal circumstances, the most useful messages can be seen using message level info. The Resync Manager login indicates how the gateway manages the gateway's resynchronization on connection to the object servers and will indicate any warning or error messages afterwards. Typically, issues with resynchronization are due to the volumes of data or the gateway's IPC.timeout setting. 